Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Parmesan. First of all, I just want to let everybody know that hopefully everybody is safe. Uh, this is very difficult times that we're going through right now and uh, this is why I want to do this so we can all smile a little bit and cook with the family. So I hope everybody is safe at this time. I'd like to thank everybody uh, for participating in the last episode. I really got a lot of positive feedback and uh, I thank you very much. So after this episode, um, if you enjoy it, I'd love for you to hit, right below hit the subscription tab, subscribe to my videos, pass it along to friends. I'm looking at you be part of my Parmesan family. Hit that notification bell, bing, and that will let you know when I have new updates. And if you have any suggestions of what I can do for my next video, just leave it down below in the comments section and I'll see if I can get to it. This recipe is a very simple recipe. I got it when I went to go visit my cousin Victor in San Marino. He made this beautiful penne pasta dish with prosciutto di parma, parmigiano, parmigiano reggiano, olives, basil, and cherry tomatoes. It was excellent. Follow me and join me with cooking with parmigiano. Hey everyone, I'm going to introduce you to the ingredients. The very important ingredients. We're going to have a teaspoon of uh, pepper, a uh, half a teaspoon of salt, two cloves of garlic, some sun-dried tomato paste, which I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. And I would say about a cup and a half to two cups of cherry tomatoes cut in half, okay? And then we're gonna have about a quarter of a cup of prosciutto de parma, and then about a quarter of a cup of Kalamata olives, and then some fresh basil. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in the pan. Let that warm up on low heat. You know, I've always had a passion for cooking. I think that also came from my Italian parents who loved to cook. Also, my father was a banquet manager at the Plaza Hotel for 50 years. So he got to see a lot of the, uh, of uh, how they cooked in the kitchen. And he brought that home to us. I had a great relationship with my father. He's the one that really taught me how to cook, him and my mother. And we had a very beautiful, loving relationship, although kind of different, but loving. I always tell this story where one day I'm in the basement with my father and we're watching the Mets play the Yankees. Us being Mets fans, it was very special to us. So we were all excited and we were sitting in the basement watching the Mets play the Yankees. And um, I'm only bringing this up to tell you the kind of love that I had for my father. So I remember we were watching it and I was excited and I, I looked at my father and our eyes connected and I said, hey dad. He says, yes Johnny. I said, did I ever tell you that I love you and I thank you for being my father? He paused, he looked at me and said, Shut up! You talk so stupid! Ma, when you're gonna grow up? When you're gonna grow up? I said, Bob, Dad, I'm telling you that I love you. Watch the game! Watch the game! It's always funny, because the old timers, when you told them that you loved them, they got all uncomfortable, you know? They got very uncomfortable. Today, different for me, because uh, I love food, and I love friends and family. I'm only telling you that story so you get to know me a little bit better um, about my past and my family, and uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed that story. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I, um, I'm gonna put some garlic in, in the pan that I coated with oil, probably about two and a half tablespoons of oil. And we don't cut the garlic in little pieces. I'm just gonna put it right in the pan, okay? So you're gonna coat the bottom of the pan with olive oil, all right? Okay. And then we're gonna combine the ingredients, okay? We're gonna put the olives in there, and then we're gonna put the prosciutto in there, okay? And then we're gonna put the cherry tomatoes in there. Incorporate that, all right? Mix that around. Put that off to the side. And then what I do is I get the, the, tom the sun-dried tomato paste, okay? I put that in the corner of the pan and let that tomato paste just cook a little bit off to the side. 
just for a minute or two minutes or so, so it heats up the flavors. And then we're gonna combine them. Okay, but look at, look at all those beautiful colors, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper, I said, a teaspoon of pepper, and we're gonna do a pinch of salt, not that much salt, because you have salt in the prosciutto. So this is basically gonna be the sauce of your dish. Okay, well just, I would cook this for about four or five minutes until the prosciutto is cooked a little bit and, and keep moving this around a little bit, the sun-dried tomato paste, that gives it a nice flavor, okay? And then you can just mix everything around Incorporate all those flavors, mix everything in there. And I would let that stay for about four or five minutes. Okay, so while we're waiting for the sauce to cook, um, we set up here um, some water for the pasta. And let's take a look at our tomatoes and see how it's coming out here. Oh my God, I tell you, I wish this camera had something where we can smell this because this smells unbelievable, okay? Let that, you know what you could do also is drizzle, drizzle a little bit more olive oil. Hey, you know, you can't lose with olive oil, that's for sure. So let that cook for another four or five minutes. You can tell when it's ready, the tomatoes start getting softer, okay? I like to put a lid on it so the tomatoes can steam a little bit. So we want the prosciutto to be cooked. We want the tomatoes to be a little bit soft. You know, I always, uh, since I enjoy cooking, I'm always looking at other recipes. I get confused sometimes when they say, okay, this recipe consists of 20 grams of flour and six um, kilos of eggs. I'm like, Danielle, can you do me a favor? Google, what's 20 grams of flour? What's six kilos of eggs? I mean, come on. Here with Cooking with Parmesan, we use tablespoons, teaspoons, and cups. Very simple. Let me show you what I also like to do with my Parmigiano cheese. So we get Parmesan cheese, it's Parmigiano Reggiano from Parma, okay? That's where my family is from. I cut here in little pieces, follow me. I put it into this blender, because I gotta be honest with you, I don't like buying the cheese that's already grated. You know why? Because you never know what they put in it. That's why. You never know. So my friend Vinny gave me this tip. He says, don't buy, don't do that. He said, buy the Parmesan cheese and then grate it yourself. So if I can get this grater to click in, which is always difficult, there we go. Okay, we we'll watch that, look at that, right? No fillers there, my friend. Cooking with Parmesan, fun and simple. We cook, fun and simple. And there's your finished product. No fillers there. Okay, everyone, we got the water boiling. Let's put a little salt in there. I forgot to put that in. Okay, that's very, very important. And now we're gonna put in about a pound of the pasta, okay? That's Barilla pasta, 10, 11 minutes, and it's done. Now let's check the tomatoes. We want to see where we are with this. Oh boy, they're getting nice and soft. The aroma is even more powerful than before. And another few more minutes. Again, we want the tomatoes to be soft. You can feel it, okay? Very simple. When the tomatoes are soft, your sauce is ready. And now we introduce the basil. What I, we don't cut it in little pieces. We just rip it up. I like to just go like this a little bit, get the smell and the essence, and just tear it up and put it in, just like that. Oh, man. Okay, now, now you can smell it. So you just rip it up. Let's mix it around a little bit. The tomatoes are soft. We're waiting for the pasta to be done. So the pasta's ready. So what I like to do is just take a little bit of the pasta water, put it in there, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the pasta to the sauce. Okay. 
Okay, so now we mixed it, all the sauce. Look at those beautiful colors. And, uh, and now we're gonna plate it. Okay, so now we're gonna plate this. All right, look at that. Hmm. Beautiful colors. All right. All right, let's take some more basil. Put it right in there. Hey, listen, everybody, this dish, I'm telling you, you make this dish in, in about 25 minutes or so. Look at the beautiful colors. And of course, very, very important, okay? You can't, what is pasta? What is cooking with Parmesan without the Parmesan cheese, right? We need that Parmesan cheese. And you know what? Let it loose, man. Why put little? I always say, the more the merrier. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, that cooked in, in 25 minutes. You wanna make a quick, easy meal for the family? 25 minutes, that is done, okay? Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, hit the notification bell and hope to see you next time with Cooking with Parmesan.